Dolo. And I'm the only on there talking shit. I flamed the whole table up. I wasn't giving up no passes. We ain't here as friends. I got some things I want to talk about. <laughs> we had Hey, I was hoping it was a squabble because I was, I was, nigga, I could have got that on, on academics on Spotify, nigga, it's out of here. I was already, I did like 87 diamond push-ups. Yeah, let me right, the all that. I parked the car half a block down the street because I'm like, all right, I can bleep him, you know, pop five out, make my, I, I knew what, a, I knew what a, the staircase was. The elevator. Nigga had the whole Wack is crazy, man. Hey, but that was a, I ain't gonna lie, that was a solid podcast they had up there. I'm gonna touch on it, though. You know what I mean? Because they was letting get away with all type of, not, I, we ain't seen the whole thing yet, though. You know what I mean? But it was a bunch of dancing going on. I'm not gonna lie. I already had it, man. You was ready. You was oh, ready. yeah. I was gonna hit the turnpike straight to Philly. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. You gonna hit the straight to Philly, though. Yeah, nigga, they looking for me to go to New York. Nigga, I'm turning pipe straight to Philly. Nigga, I'm out of here, nigga. <laughs> I'm talking so much over yeah. there. I'm, nigga, hey, I wasn't being friendly with nothing and nobody, nigga. That's out. Well, you, academics, you know, ac 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 academics was just letting you rock. He didn't say, come on, whack chill, man. This is my, this is my podcast. Don't don't hell no, nah, Ag wasn't just letting him rock. He was letting him rock for the most part, but Ag was trying to conduct it like, you know what I'm saying, keep some order in there, nigga. Uh, talking in the background and this, that, and the third. Oh, that way. academic <laughs> said, because I told him, listen, you ch looking uh, nigga, you was you look weirdo ch too. Yeah, you did, so you what did. academic said was this. Whack, he got out of his seat when he sat in the back seat and grabbed the Hennessy bottle and shut the f up. He said, it's your show. I uh, said, it was on. <laughs> Yeah, I said, you weird-ass nigga. You run around here uh, apologizing to Meek Mills. Weird-ass nigga. Every time I'm calling you, you ain't answering the phone. You always doing something with a nigga I don't fuck with. Like, I give a f I went in on his ass, too. I went in the fuck. <laughs> hey, when this shit uh, come you, out? When this hey, shit hey, hey, real quick. Hey, it's 98 people that's on stage. Everybody on stage share the room. Like, and everybody you in the right group do the same thing. You ain't let academics play the 50? <laughs> nah. No playing the 50 no more. Ain't nobody playing the 50. Nah, fuck that. Nah, hell no. Nah. But nah, I tell you this. Man. I tell you this. And, and Rocky, Rocky didn't bear witness to this shit. Every time they used to pull up to that room with that shit. And I said, hey, look, bro. Don't get at me by no nigga that's always in New York. He would, no, he not. He was some grimy little street niggas. I'm telling you. He FaceTimed me. Ain't no more of that. The nigga shot a video. They nigga pulled up with two million cash, two, three million dollars of jewelry on him. Oh, he pulled up to the hood with the two M's too? Okay. I'm going to touch on that, man. I'm going to give y'all some details to help y'all understand what's going on and why, you know, what, what's going on, man, around here. He said, whack. The, the, I asked the niggas, hey, look, little niggas, what time did y'all start shooting the video? And where y'all from? We from the Bushwick Projects. We run them projects. We started shooting at 4.13 p.m. The niggas the day before knew we were shooting. They begged us not to do it. We did it anyway. The nigga pulled up. This what we did. This what we doing. We did it once. We'll do it again. And ain't them nigga gonna tell us shit. I said, hey, yo, all y'all come over here and get on camera. They all can take their mask off. There it go. Don't come saying nothing to yo. whack. Now y'all can't fight me on what I've been telling you been going on. Handle your business, my nigga. Say nothing to me about nothing, bro. Hey, when I first saw you do that shit, I was like, why is he doing that? Now that shit all makes sense. Like, don't talk to me. Talk to these niggas. Period. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's funny about the situation, right? Certain, uh, it just be a trip. Like, certain people like to, and now I'm not trying to say, man, that, oh, nigga, that he just cool and that it's good and that's this, that, and the third. But the, the world is going to say that. You know what I'm saying? And niggas is going to say that. You know what I'm saying? By their actions. Because, you know, you remember back in the days, we went from like the stage, <laughs> we went from a cold, we went from, it's like been a cold progression to where we at now, right? So we went from the stage. I ain't going to lie, I was a young nigga. I ain't going to, it wasn't really like when I was young, I, it wasn't like I was, I'm still young, but 
like when I was a little kid, it wasn't like nigga. I just heard about niggas getting knocked down for, for telling and this, that, and the third. No, nah, man. So, man, it was it was like first it was like oh man, snitches get killed and this, that, and the third, and he gotta go and this, that, you know. And then it was like okay, he a snitch, man. Stay away from me. We ain't gonna really do no business with him. Some people, you know what I'm saying? Some people like shit. He ain't tell on me. Now it's like we at the point where it's like nigga, he ain't tell on me. Everybody is like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, niggas is, cause <laughs> what's funny, right? It, about the situation is, um, 6 9 was, you know, when they was in the, um, doing the interview, him and DJ Academics and Wack, when they was all in there, Hassan Campbell, right? Hassan was telling 6 9 bro, you fold it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, give up the gangster, all, oh, just give up this gangster narrative, dog. Stop trying to act tough, dude. You know what I mean? And then, 6 9 like, nigga, <laughs> what you would've did in the situation, you know what I'm saying? 6 9 hitting with the, like, like, if you would've, nigga, if it was you, what you would've did? Hassan started stuttering and all type of shit, but he did say, I, I, yeah, I never tell, you know what I'm saying? He did say that after stuttering a little bit, but. So, this is what I'm saying. If you was in that position, you would've did that, Tom? My whole thing is like nah, this. Nah, yo, yo, bro, let me, let me, yes or no? This is gonna make like, it spicy. Alright, go ahead. If, if this is gonna make it spicy, right, cool. see, my whole thing is like this, right? If I was in your position, mm -hmm. and, and Nuke and Harford... And, everybody can say, should have come listen, that you listen, didn't say no, listen, let listen, me know that listen, you would have did the same listen, shit he did. Yo, no, hold, hold up. Hold. Six Nine tried to point out the fact that nigga anybody in his situation would have did the same thing, right? Especially given the details, right, that we got. That's what he tried to say. But, you know, um, Six Nine also mentioned some things about Alpo, like niggas was trying to say, like, you know... Uh, Basically, what he was doing, right, by mentioning Alpo, he mentioned his baby mama, her uh, dad or whatever. I don't know who he is. Ken to him, I might be getting it wrong, but mentioned that he's some type of big blood, right, in New York, and he, like, snitched K and this, that, and third, right? Come to find out, Alpo was at his party, man, taking porn shots and doing a limbo and doing, you know what I mean? So, by 6 9 mentioning that, what he was doing is trying to, like, point out the favoritism that niggas be having, you know what I mean, with, with certain niggas. And I'm going to tell you right now, man, he got a point, you know what I'm saying, with with that situation. It it, it it does be like that, man, in the hood, you know what I mean? Because, first off, it just be a lot of smoke and mirrors, you know what I mean? A nigga uh, will might lie, you know what I'm saying? Some niggas might just choose to believe a lie because they don't, because it's their peoples and they don't even want to go into detail, you know what I mean? They don't even want to know if it's real or what's what, you know what I mean? But in the back of their minds, I'm sure niggas are still kind of like being cautious or, you know, even might even be naive. Like, man, he ain't gonna do it to me, you know what I'm saying? If you still, if, if you a nigga who's still doing crime, you know what I mean, and shit like that. But, yeah, man, it, it's a trip, like, because... 6 9 got a point as far as like niggas like trying to play favoritism. They brought up Jim Jones. Like 6 Whack 100, man. He he basically like confirmed that, six, that Jim Jones is like the police. You know what I mean? He's working with them people. And shit, nigga, like he's standing on that, man. And he kind of like, he, he said something in the interview, right? He said that Jim Jones was hot at him for bringing it to the light. You know what I'm saying? Because it would have been swept under the rug when a big fish, because he a big fish, another big fish, bring it up, nigga, then we can, you know, my word against yours, nigga. It's like, you know what I mean? But when it's like somebody from a smaller scale, it'd be hard for that, for niggas to hear that voice and they even want to even acknowledge it because he, you know what I mean? He ain't up here with, so it ain't going to really stick. But, you know, he, he kind of like mad at Wack 100 because Wack 100 got a platform. You know what I mean? And it's weird that he met at Wack because I honestly I can understand it makes sense that you met at Wack for blowing your cover, you know what I'm saying? If that's what the case is. But and maybe the police is playing favoritism too. You know what I'm saying? Like they like nigga, they know Jim Jones ain't really whatever, you know what I mean? So they nigga they went after who they went after, you know what I'm saying? And kinda left Jim alone and let Jim continue to do his music thing because he, they like, yeah, you gon' you gon' um you gonna benefit this shit in other ways. You get what I'm saying? Niggas that know what I mean, know what I mean. Nigga, it's kinda like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna sit here and explain it to you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Cause the music do its part, man. The music definitely been doing its part, man. That's why a lot of these young niggas is doing what they doing. Like I just seen right up in Pittsburgh. Um, Pittsburgh, I, I, uh, 
where where I think where 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 where's Khalifa from? You feel me out there, right? Pittsburgh. They had a house party, and it was kind of similar to the house party they had in uh, Arenda a few years few years back out here in California. You know, it was kind of like a massacre. A bunch of kids threw a party, rented out an Airbnb. Somebody starts shooting in a in this closed environment with a bunch of people. You know what I'm saying? In there, and, it was, and a bunch of people lost their life. Same thing happened in Pittsburgh, man. Two kids lost their life. You know, two two. Um, Miners may have lost their life. Uh, yeah, two two miners lost their life, and eight other people uh, was wounded in there. I seen a video, man. You know what I'm saying? The shots. It took a little bit for them to start going off. You know what I mean? Because the video is like a little long, but when they start going off, man, it seemed like it took a long time for them to stop. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, and it was weird. I'm like, just weird, bro. Like that's what niggas is doing. I don't know, man. That's the, you know, all, all at this point, right? Nigga, cause we at where we at with it, all niggas can do kinda is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, make sure that you in the best environment you can be in, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And make sure you watching these people, nigga, and you know what I mean? And this, that, the third. It's a cold game. I know I went off somewhere else with it, but shit. Y'all niggas let me know what y'all think about this 6 9 debacle. I'm gonna keep it lit, man. I'm watching the whole interview. You already know. Whack, I'm tapped in, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You already know what it is. Um... But yeah, man, y'all niggas let me know what y'all think down below about 6 9 and him pointing out niggas having favoritism. At the same time, 6 9 yeah, we understand his favoritism, right? Pe people are still gonna say he making excuses. You know what I'm saying? And niggas are still, niggas just don't wanna like bro. You know what I'm saying? Niggas do not wanna like dog. Like, go ahead and get up out of here with that. We don't wanna hear it. We don't care. You know what I'm saying? But it's other people rooting for him, like I said. You know what I'm saying? He got, it's like, I don't know what the percentages is on it, but man. Yeah. Y'all niggas let me know what y'all think down below. Even in the comment section, it's a it's a split. But yeah, man, y'all niggas let me know what y'all think down below, man. It's gang. What you say? <laughs> I said whoever threw that paper, your mom's a hoe. Say yo, say I'm playing with that paper, ho. Nigga need that paper, need it now and not later, ho. Say ho, I can't playin' with that paper, ho. Nigga need that paper, need it now and not later, ho. Say ho, you can't playin' with that paper, ho. Like a greater, ho, don't play me like no sin, cause I never captain save a ho. 